producer of Pirates of the Caribbean, Jerry Bruckheimer, is still open to Johnny Depp's comeback. For Johnny Depp, the last six months have not been good. His most well-known acting role might become available for him to reprise as he works to repair his life. Depp, a Hollywood heartthrob with obvious skill who is still emotionally healing from his defamation trial with ex-wife Amber Heard, hasn't had an easy time. The legal proceeding was aired to a global audience, and coverage garnered wild tabloid interest. Depp filed a $50 million lawsuit at first, and Heard responded by filing a $100 million lawsuit. Ultimately, the Virginia jury determined that Amber Heard was guilty of defaming Depp. Although the actor received a $10 million payout, he was judged responsible for one of the three defamation claims made by Heard, who was given a $2 million payout. Depp might play Jack Sparrow again in a future Pirates of the Caribbean film after the defamation lawsuit is behind him. The producer of the Pirates series, Jerry Bruckheimer, spoke to Deadline for a short time. Bruckheimer delivered a fairly long, circumlocutory response when asked if Depp will reprise his role as Captain Jack in later films, but in essence, he seemed anxious to see Depp back in action in his own time. Actors heal from situations like this, and he's just so amazing at what he does. He is an honorable and compassionate person. He is a fantastic person and someone you can trust. I think Johnny is an incredible friend and an artist, and while life sometimes presents challenges you wish you hadn't, he is nonetheless gifted. Fans would undoubtedly be overjoyed if Depp were to be confirmed for another Jack Sparrow appearance. But, there is a minor hiccup in the journey. After Disney abruptly fired Depp from the sixth Pirates film as a direct result of Heard's abuse claims against him, Depp vowed never to collaborate with the company again. A female-led spin-off starring Margaret Robbie was announced after that hasty choice, with Birds of Prey author Christina Hodson composing the script. Disney, however, declined to pursue the notion when it was presented to the company. It goes without saying that when the news of Depp joining the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise was announced, Fans were ecstatic. Since the first Pirates movie was released more than 20 years ago, Depp has served as its face. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, the first of many films in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, was released by Walt Disney Pictures in August 2003. It introduced audiences to Captain Jack, a charming, conceited scalawag whose greatest treasures are liquor, women, and gold. English actors Orlando Bloom and Cara Knightley, who play Will Turner and Elizabeth Swan, respectively, accompany him for the majority of the franchise. A new Pirates of the Caribbean sequel was released every year from 2003 to 2011, the first was in 2006, the second in 2007, the third in 2011, and the most recent in 2017. With the release of Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, which starred Javier Bardem of Skyfall fame as Captain Salazar, who wants retribution on Jack Sparrow for crimes of betrayal, there hasn't been any new Pirates material. Even if the future of Captain Jack is uncertain, Depp might be persuaded to concur should another company buy the Disney rights and go independent. There is little doubt that Disney will maintain a strong grip on the pirates' rights if Depp's refusal is motivated by the company's involvement, which it appears to be. As they are well aware of the franchise's value, they won't want to miss out on any prospective next initiatives.